friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. She's a bit rainy. I need a coffee. Cheers. Lovely day for it. <laughs> ah, too hot, too soon, too soon. All right, so here's the plan. As you can see, it's a little bit rainy. Just a little bit rainy. And it looks like it's pretty set in. Like, I don't see this changing anytime soon. The forecast was for this rain to come in tonight, but it came in last night, like early. So, it's gonna be a pretty wet, miserable day as far as fishing goes. So what I'll do is I'll have breakfast, I'll break camp, stash most of my stuff somewhere in that native over there. Hopefully I can find a dry-ish spot. And then boost back up to where I finished yesterday. Uh, and then just, I won't go too late today because it's gonna be a long, horrible, wet, miserable walk out. I don't really wanna do that in the dark. So yeah, we'll just, we'll just push up, we'll see what I find. If I can find a few fish, that's great. See some new water, that's great. And, and get out of here. Yeah, so I'm gonna have this coffee, cook up with some oats, break camp, sort my life out, go fishing. Okay, Whew, that was a mission to do in the rain. It's actually eased off a little bit now, which is kind of nice. So I stashed my camp stuff and the stuff I don't need to fish up in the bush. I'll get that on the way back through this afternoon. Grab my rod, sticky, and my net, and we'll get going. So I'm gonna boost up past all the water that I fished yesterday. Uh, even if I see a fish, I'm not gonna fish it because just don't need to put that kind of pressure on the river and those fish. Well, I can see a fish down there. I've seen a several fish just cruising this lake, which has been pretty cool this morning. Yeah, I'm gonna boost up there and then I'll catch up with you there and we'll start to check out some new stuff, which is exciting. I'm into it. Okay, so I'm up to where I finished off last night and I've just seen a fish, actually a good fish, but I was kind of not paying attention and I was like right next to him when I saw him. So I was kind of dropped down. He's kind of pushing up ahead of me. Which I kind of think he was doing anyway. Uh, he seems pretty relaxed. So I might still get a shot. Don't deserve a shot. But. I'll try and keep track of him and see where he goes. Well, didn't even get a shot. I was just trying to find the fish from down here. Because it's real glary and stuff I can't see. I've got a rough idea where he is. But I can't see him now I'm down in the river. And uh, yeah, he dropped back. He saw me and he is gone. So we'll go find another one and be better. Be a much better angler. Good to see a fish though. See this? Right about there. Hmm. I feel like maybe he's on to me. Perfect. I'll see this. There's no way he didn't see that. Is that a rejection? Now he's gone. Hmm. Alright, I can't see too well in here, but before I um trash it by walking through it. Just gonna put a couple of uh, couple of drifts down there. It's actually quite deep on this inside. Oh or oh, just get a dry fly eat. Oh no way I was not expecting that. No sir. It's good fish too. Yeah it is. It's a cracking fish. And a dry First thing in the morning. Oh, that's a chunk. Mm. Here we go. 
Try this one. No. Oh. Nice. Oh yeah, we're on the board in style, guys. I mean, that's just mega. Look at that. That's a great fish. What a mega fish to start the day on. Um, that's a solid fish. Uh, like I said, uh, when I was fishing, I just couldn't really see in that piece of water there. It was real glary. Uh, so I just thought I'd put a couple of drifts through just before I walked through it and trash it. And uh, yeah, first drift, just this big mouth came out and just um, ate the dry fly. It was a size 14 dead cert uh, from Cat 3. What a cool fish. That's, that's a super cool way to start the day. I'm gonna re-rig that because it's uh, got all trashed in the fight and while I do that I'll just talk you through how I put together a dry dropper rip in case you're interested. Like I went into in a video a couple of weeks ago just every time you catch a fish just check your gear you know run that leader and tip it through your thumb and your forefinger and just kind of you know feel and look for any you know any kind of compromise in the system because you know any weak spots and right here kind of got wrapped around his teeth a little bit there that's on the 4x, so I'm going to replace that. So I'll replace the 4x section of tippet, and then um, probably about the time I replace this 4x between the dry fly and the dropper too. So it's a good opportunity to just run you through how I do that. So I'm going to go about three feet of 4x off of that 3x. Now I run a blood knot, but I mean you can run whatever knot you're comfortable tying, or use a tippet ring. Don't really matter, you know, just whatever, whatever you like. Whatever you have confidence in, I think, is is the most important thing. Tag ends in the hip pack. Tag ends in the hip pack. Okay. So, I'm going to take my old access tippet. This is the forex I just cut off. And I'm going to chop that in the old trash dash. When you're on the river, guys, just be real mindful about that kind of stuff. Don't leave your discarded line and tippet and stuff around. Just, there's so much wildlife and bird life and stuff out here. Just Plus, just take it home with you. I mean, you brought it in with you, right? All right, so we'll stick with that size 14 dead cert for now, because that seems to work. And I just run a double Davy knot to attach that. Cool, cool, cool. Take ends in the hip pack. And then... Yeah, that's a bit, it's a bit crap. So we'll take that off and we'll um, replace that as well. We might as well, you know, fresh day and all that. So I'll go 4X again. And again, I'll use a double Davy knot to attach my 4X to the bend of my dry fly or my, you know, dropper nymph, whatever. Tag ends in the hip back. So you see, that's what I've done there. I've just, just tie that off the bend of the, of the hook. And we're gonna go about two and a half, three feet. Seems to be okay so far. And I'll stick to this size 16 south side from Cat 3, because it's been getting eaten, so if it ain't broke, don't try and fix it, all that good stuff. And again, double Davy, boom. And that excess tip it here that I just took off into the old trash dash. Uh, this is this trash dash here is actually one of the tweaked newer models. Um, Eric just kind of tweaked a couple of things from his original design. Real subtle differences but they're good ones. And then lastly I'm just gonna put a little bit of lube on that dry fly and we're good to go. So there we go. You've got your, your dry fly right there off the bend of that, I've tied maybe two and a half feet, three feet of forex, and then there's my there's my dropper there, little size 16 south side from Cat 3. So if we hook another fish like that, I'm confident that my rig and my knots are up to scratch. Yeah. 
don't know. Doesn't feel right. Doesn't look right either. Yeah, I got him wrapped up. Ah, uh, I see what's happened. Dry fly's got caught in his back. I'm gonna try to swing him onto this little beachy bit and then run in and scoop him. Whew. I'm sorry, man. Oh, I'm sorry about that. There we go. Oh, just a spectacular fish, but. So it was kind of unfortunate really, um, somewhere in the initial part of the fight there, the dry fly got kind of wedged and caught on his, uh, just almost on his dorsal fin. So that's where the attachment point was. He was also hooked in the mouth. Really hard to deal with a fish like that when you're on your own especially. So what I had to do was just, just try and just beach him on this real sandy stuff, which luckily there was some sandy stuff there. I don't like beaching them, but managed to bring him in, beach him, scoop him up in the net and then yeah. Hooked in the dorsal fin, hooked in the mouth, but got him away real quick and he swam off real strong. Beautiful fish, cool piece of water, whoa, it's all good. Oh, a nice piece of water, I didn't expect to see something in here, I can see mayfly coming off, good sized ones too. I've uh, walked past several pieces of water now since that last fish. Like good pieces of water and uh, I haven't even seen a fish. That is another great piece of water you would expect to see a fish in. That's perfect. What a feeling, man. Mate, it's like being in Jurassic Park. How cool is that? There's got to be a fish there. But even if there isn't, how cool is that? This looks good. Deep, slow pool. It's gonna be tough not to push big bow waves all the way up this and ruin it. But surely there's gonna be fish living in here. Surely. Let's see a fish. Oh yeah, up high under the foam. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's perfect. Coming over. Oh, I think he potentially looked at that. Oh, he had it. Shit. He had it. Dry fly sank. <clears throat> but he actually had to fly. Another cool piece of water with nothing in it. I saw that one fish down in that pool below me but that didn't work out but yeah definitely definitely less numbers of fish all of a sudden which is fine I mean you kind of expect that when you start getting to the very top of a river system there's going to be a point where fish numbers start to you know oh is that a fish oh, I've just found a fish no I haven't have I smoking crack no I haven't <laughs> um yeah, once you start getting like right up the top of the river system, you know, you're obviously going to start finding less and less fish. Uh, we'll keep pushing. Oh, no, I have seen a fish. I'm not smoking crack. All right, I found a fish. Uh, it's going to be another GoPro job because it's, uh, it's very rainy again. All right, let's see if we can get this guy. And I'll be pretty happy for the day, to be honest. Uh, okay, I'm rambling. Mr. Brown. Hello, Mr. Brown. 
little jumpy ground too. Yeah, you haven't you? Like oh yeah, so super happy with that. What a mega looking fish, really clean, just cool. Uh, yeah, first drift, boom. No hesitation. That was uh, another one for the south side. It's rainy again. Uh, it's about lunchtime. So probably stop and have something to eat in a minute. Maybe I'll just dive in a bush and eat some cheese and salami. Maybe push up a bit further and then around, I don't know, one-ish. Just think about heading that way and uh, doing the big slog out of here. So I won't push too much further after lunch. Maybe one more fish. This will do it. That's a different fish. That's why that fish turned away. Because this guy came down and ate it out of nowhere. That was interesting. We couldn't work out what was going on there. Fish was lining up for the fly, then all of a sudden just did like a 90 degree turn and disappeared. I thought it spooked, but then uh, this guy shot downstream and crashed the party. Cool looking fish. There we go. Cool backcountry rainbow. Water's getting really small now. They just spook a fish. Oh, I'm trotting the damn thing. Just not looking. Again, just kind of coming out of a scrambly bit. And just kind of popped into this little bit of pocket water and there's a fish there. It stopped raining for a little bit, which is nice. of ducks up there but yeah the holding water is getting less and less up here I'll push on a little bit further so if I can find one more fish I'll try and round out the trip with the fish and I'll think about turning around I think I found another brown pretty sure it's a brown that's what my money is on anyway I'm gonna give this a go in a really awkward place Try and do this. It's pretty good. Got him. Got him. <clears throat> oh, now what? In the river, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> Took him a second there to uh, realize he was hooked. That feels heavy. There's something going on with my neck. Oh, I got it. Ah, oh, it was my knee. Oh, this is bigger than I thought. That's what she said. <laughs> Come on, man. Can't get him out of that deep stuff. Strong, strong fish, man. Dude. Come over here. I can't move. This is unreal. Good. Come on, get your head up. Oh. Oh. Wow, what a fish! Holy! 
That's a massive fish. Dude, you're stunning. Look at the colors. I mean, oh, that is just special. That's a beast. Oh, oh. wow, dude. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. Oh my god! I did not think that that fish was that big. I hooked him and it just took him like five or six seconds to even realize he was hooked. And it felt heavy and my god he was strong. That will probably be the best brown trout I've had out of this river. Ever. Oh that's epic. I'm, that's the one to finish on. I'm super happy about that. Trip made. Job done. Ended in style. Uh, don't really know what else to say. The little south side, again, that fly is very, very good. Oh man, the colors and the markings on that fish were just spectacular, weren't they? All right. Oh, it's about to start raining again. Oh, it's about, yep, it's raining again. So I'm gonna get this uh, camera back in the bag. But I mean, look at that. What a cool, cool piece of water to catch a fish like that out of. All right, I'm gonna sort my life out and then uh, think about going back to camp and I'll catch up with you there. And we are back at the campsite. So I've just filled this bad boy up with everything else, which has made it incredibly heavy, especially seeing as everything is just soaking wet. Uh, on the plus side, I got a break in the weather to do this, so I didn't have to do it in the actual pouring rain, which is, which is a good thing. Okay, so I'm gonna have a snack, I'm gonna have something to drink, and then I've got about hour downstream, two hours out, two hours home so yeah still like another five five and a bit hours to kind of get home so it's gonna be a big afternoon super glad that i did this really really enjoyed it um cool to see some new water and i have spent a lot of years wondering what's up there so now i know i'm gonna i'm gonna finish this off and get out of here some superb fish some amazing water what a cool place and always good to camp in the rain eh all right I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below. All that good stuff. It does help out. And it's always good to hear from you, too. If you enjoyed this trip and you're feeling generous, there is a super thanks option. You could click that, maybe for the price of a cup of coffee. Help me fund the next video. And there's always my PayPal and Patreon options as well. Either way, it's great to see you again. Have a great weekend. See you on the next one. Peace.